What is going down everybody? It's Unbeatable Jacob. As you guys can see on the screen, I have made the 2004 All-Star jerseys in NBA 2K21 my team. So I posted this on Twitter and there was a lot of people asking, you know, how I made them or if they could get the files. And that's pretty much what I'm here to share with you all today. The reason why I decided to do the 2003-2004 All-Star jerseys, these jerseys kind of hold a special place for me, to be very honest. The 2003-2004 season was actually the first year I really started watching basketball as a young kid. I was seven years old. It was a good year for the NBA, man. My Detroit Pistons won the championship. Uh, it was LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, and Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh rookie year. Kobe Bryant and Shaq were still playing together. It was a good year, man. Allen Iverson, T-Mac were still doing their thing. So it was cool, man. It was a good all-star game. And I just thought these jerseys were kind of cool. So I'm going to go ahead and green one three here with my man, Ben Wallace. I missed. Whatever. Don't care. Not the point of the video. And show you guys how I made these. And yeah. We're gonna go into the Jersey Creator. If you guys don't know how to get here, it's pretty simple. You just go to your lineup screen and then go over here to design uniforms. And you guys can see I have the home and away. And they both say East, we'll get into that later because I do have the files for West. The reason why I have both of them, I say East because obviously as a Pistons fan, I like the Eastern Conference more than the Western Conference. So maybe I'll change it up, I don't know. But either way, We'll do the jerseys first, and I might even make the court because I have the files for that too. For the jerseys, the first thing I need to say is why in the world is Myers Leonard the default person for your jersey creation? It doesn't matter if you have him on your team and your lineup, nothing. It's always Myers Leonard, so they need to change that. That's just unreal. But for the jerseys, we'll go ahead and uh, do the away uniform here first. I went ahead and obviously preset, build your own V-neck collar, no jersey design. Jersey color, you can kind of just like, you know, go to the color wheel here and just like find what looks similar or a good color of blue for you. I liked it like that. I got the retro shorts. Of course, back in 2004, dudes were definitely wearing their shits below their, below their knees. So I guess just for a little bit of authenticity, authenticity I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like that now. Um, same color of shorts as the jerseys. For neck, neck stripe one, just same color of stripe for both of them. Shoulder stripe two with the red shoulder stripe. And then for the side, it's stripe 41. That's the one that's gonna give you that little pan up thing on the side, which is real to what the what they wore in the game. Obviously all red down the side there. Waist, nothing on them. Bottom stripe 21, just straight up and down. And then all red, obviously. And I actually need to change up those uh, stars because I'm realizing they are a little bit off-centered right now. And they weren't like that yesterday. They must have like got drug around or something. I don't know. Um, I have Font 31. There might be a better one out there. I didn't really go past 31 looking for it. But there might be a better one out there. 31 seemed to be uh, just the most basic one I could find that was kind of similar to what they actually wore in the game because there was no sort of no sort of anything that I really found to be much closer. It was kind of like a boxy type color. So I just left it at that. What was it? Was it 31 or 41? Must have been 31 that I had on there. And for whatever reason, whenever you make players like jerseys, the last name doesn't stretch very far. I wish it did. There's really no way to my knowledge that you can make that happen. Um, I wish it, I wish you could like stretch it longer. You know what I mean? See how it just, when you make it grow, it just grows taller. I don't really like that. If there's any way that anybody knows how to uh, change that. Oh, okay, I did. You have to hit triangle because it's like kind of like not very spaced out. So this is actually perfect. Yeah, I want to make this longer because that's actually how it looks. So that looks a little better like that. Obviously all white colors, no secondary colors, jersey number on the back in white. And then on the jersey number on the front, just right there, you know, right, right above the logo and we'll get into more of the logo soon. And uh, nothing else, just, just right there on the chest. And then no jersey number on the shorts. 
And then for the images, so I'm gonna have a link to these images that I'm gonna post on Twitter. You can upload them if you're on Xbox, but if you're on PlayStation, you can just search my username and find these. So for the first one, um, go ahead and, I don't really wanna delete it, but I guess we can, it's not that big of a deal. So for, 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 number, for the first image, you only have 10 image slots and you use all of those to make these. So go ahead, if you wanna find mine, just type in II blinders II. And you'll get my whole collection of stuff to pull up here. And obviously we're using the East ones here. You can use that, go ahead and move it to the correct location. Gonna wanna make it a little bit bigger. I forget what I had it at, probably about 150 is about right. And right there should be about good. Right there should be about good. And you have that there. So once you get that, you got that set. And then for the other 10, all I really used was, well, eight of them are these stars. So if you go and find my find my name or whatever on there, you get the star. And you're gonna put those up and down the side. I have them at 34 size, two on the jersey, two on the shorts. So I wanna go ahead and get these ones on the shorts readjusted because for whatever reason, they got way off centered there. Go ahead and put that there. And then we'll go ahead and move that there. So that looks about right. And then we'll do it on the other side as well. Make sure it's center with the other one. It's about okay. Get that right there. And that should be good. And then for the last logo, I just use the NBA logo. Um, you can find the NBA logo by just going into the community uploads. It's always gonna be on one of the first pages. And then obviously that goes right at the shoulder. And that's pretty much it, really. That's pretty much it. Um, that's for the away. For the home, like I said, you guys can use the Western Conference one if you want. Technically, they did wear the Western Conference. Um, you know what, I'll change it, why not? Uh, they did wear the wet, like the, obviously it wasn't East versus East in the All-Star game. So the Western Conference one is a little bit more true to the Jersey. So we'll go ahead and just make that go right here. Get a little bigger. What do we say? 150. And the ones I have uploaded for the West are actually a little bit bigger. So you probably actually want to make those a little bit smaller in game. And then you can just set that right there. That's looking pretty good right about there. So yeah, I mean, overall, uh, pretty cool looking jerseys. I, I like them a lot. I think they look pretty clean. And for whatever reason, I don't know why, but like I definitely, when I made these, like the stars were like not <laughs> off centered. So let me go ahead and get those changed again here too, just for my own satisfaction, because for whatever reason, these stars just like went way off center. Not really sure why. Go ahead and just get those moved over here. That one's fine. A little bit lower to match the other side. Should be fine. A little bit lower to match the other side again. And that should be good. Now obviously you can change the accessory colors. I think I have one as red, one as white. I have these ones as white. I, that's just based on what they actually wore in game. Uh, so whether you guys wanna change that accessory color up or not, that's up to you. But that's good for the jerseys right there. If you guys have any more questions about making those, just let me know. Um, and I think they look pretty good. Except for the one thing that you do notice is like the West right there. See how that 25 is like a little bit too wide? Uh, for the west, let me go ahead and change that and get it just a little bit further over um, for the logo because right here with the number zero, obviously that isn't gonna be as big as the number 25. So like right there should be a little better, hopefully. Um, I'll probably just change it back to the east for both of them just because that's, you know, like I said, my, my more preferred conference. So that looks a little better with the 25 there. And like that color of blue is probably a little bit off too. You guys can get really nitpicky with it. 
I'm not that too concerned about it. And for the court, the center court logo, I really couldn't find. And I'm really not dying to change up my custom court because I really like the way my custom court looks. But for the sake of the video, let me go ahead and just take a screenshot here so I can remember how I had this done if I want to remake my other one. But for the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and make the floor as well and try and make it as true as possible. I go ahead and use the picture that I have uploaded. Like I said, I'll have all of this on my profile. And if you're on Xbox, you can go to my my page on Twitter and find it. So I've got the 2004 court logo there. We'll go ahead and make the inside of the key like a yellowish color so it kind of like hides there um sometimes it's just easiest to go to team color and find somebody who already has yellow so that'll probably do the trick and then for the three-point line that was all black free throw circle was black free throw circle key was black and i'm just kind of looking at a picture of the court right now and trying to make it as accurately as possible key hashes they actually weren't even on there but baseline hashes media box make all of that black so it's starting to look pretty good here half court was also black and then jump ball okay so that was all good to go there we'll go ahead and make that yellow as well i think i used like the Cavs color right there just to not interfere with the middle page there so that's looking pretty good um the apron was actually a darkish color blue so maybe we can go ahead and see if we can find something more similar probably something like that would be good and now the inside of the key was this the top okay so this was no color and then the bottom was yellow so we'll make that there and i kind of want to make this just a touch darker so we'll do three touches down on that and then outside key is going to be the same inside key is going to be the same as well so now it's starting to look pretty similar to the way it looked out there in the actual game that's about as close as you're going to get if you want to put uh you know los angeles or whatever it said under the hoop that's totally fine up to you but that's about as close as I'm gonna get it today. We'll go ahead and just go into uh, the shoot around, take a look at it with the jerseys and everything, and just kind of see how it's looking in final form. Yeah, and I think that looks pretty good. Um, might wanna change up the color of the yellow, make it a little bit whiter, because in game it's, uh, it's kind of contrasted to the center of the key a little bit. The center of the key is going to be a little bit of a whiter yellow, or I'm sorry, the inside of the key is going to be a little bit of a darker yellow than the actual color. So, you know, if you guys want to mess around with it a little more than uh, more than I did, be my guest, you know, go crazy, do your thing. You got the pictures and everything. So if you guys enjoyed it, you know, go ahead and leave a like, show some love, whatever you want to do. And, uh, you know, we'll get one more picture here with maybe somebody who actually played in that game, like Alan Iverson right at the center of the key whoops so yeah i think it looks pretty good man i think it looks pretty good i think it looks pretty good i think that looks pretty good not bad whatsoever so yeah i hope you guys appreciated it i like these jerseys a lot and i hope you do too and i am out of here